Most famous for his roles in Green Book and The Lord of the Rings as the nomad-turned-King Aragorn, Viggo Mortensen has had a fascinating career in Hollywood. He is renowned as a painter, poet, and has received Golden Globes and multiple Oscar nominations, though he has not yet won. His filmography is as colorful as his interests, taking on roles in nearly every genre and delivering an amazing performances. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Viggo Mortensen. He is a polyglot. A polyglot is someone who knows six or more languages. Mortensen can speak four languages fluently, English and Danish, as well as French and Spanish. And although he is not fully fluent, he can also hold small conversations in Italian. Not only that, he reportedly understands, but cannot speak, both Norwegian and Swedish, totaling a magnificent knowledge of seven languages. He perfected Russian accents in Eastern Promises. Russian accents appear in worldwide movie releases less often than American and British, which has apparently made them more difficult to master, according to the Shaw Academy study. Even though, movie fanatics on Reddit and TVOM have listed Viggo Mortensen's accent in Eastern Promises as one of the best Russian accents in films. Wired even did a YouTube analysis of the performance with an accent expert. Eastern Promises won the audience prize for Best Film at the Toronto Film Festival in 2007 and had three nominations at the Golden Globe Awards, including one for Mortensen's performance. He was also nominated for Best Actor at the 80th Academy Awards as well, demonstrating how hard he worked for this role and how well it paid off. He turned down Wolverine. Mortensen turned down Wolverine in X-Men because he didn't want to commit to one role for years. The role eventually went to Hugh Jackman, who played the gruff superhero in 10 movies, including cameos, across 17 years. Mortensen did, however, sign on to play Aragon in The Lord of the Rings shortly after he turned down Wolverine. Peter Jackson's trilogy was a big commitment in itself too. The three movies were shot back to back between October 1999 and December 2000, meaning Mortensen was shooting the role of Aragorn for nine months. He got injured many times playing Aragorn. Throughout the expansive epic filming process of the Lord of the Rings movies, the cast, including Mortensen, suffered from lots of on-set injuries. Mortensen's real-life injury even made the final cut of the film. During the filming of The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, he broke two of his toes kicking a helmet after seeing a charred belt in a pile of burned orc bodies. He fell to his knees in extreme pain, and that take stayed in the film. His scream was for real. During filming for The Fellowship of the Ring, co-stars Billy Boyd and Dominic Monaghan, who play Hobbits Mary and Pippin, respectively, took Mortensen surfing, resulting in a black eye and forcing him to be shot in profile for weeks. He also chipped a tooth during the two towers, asking if he could simply glue his tooth back on until Peter Jackson made his star go to the hospital. He spent a year preparing for a role he didn't get. When he was cast in Oliver Stone's Platoon, he thought the film would be his big break. Mortensen spent a full year preparing to play Sergeant Elias, learning everything he could about the Vietnam War. But just before filming began, the director decided to hire a better-known actor for the role and replaced Mortensen with Willem Dafoe. He once didn't know he was cut from a Woody Allen film until its release. It's hard to believe there was a time when Viggo Mortensen was anything but a successful actor. But the star was dropped from a number of films before he finally got his big break. In a 2016 interview with ABC News, Mortensen recalled how his scene in the 1985 Woody Allen film, The Purple Rose of Cairo, ended up on the cutting room floor. After what he thought was a disappointing audition with Allen, Mortensen said he learned that he won a part, but he didn't know exactly what role he would play. When he arrived at the set on Long Island, New York, Mortensen said he still had no idea what his role was. After some time, he and another actor were called in to do a scene. They have this big huge party. It looks fantastic, lights, all this stuff. And Woody Allen is whispering into this actor's ear, this other actor who's been called. And the actor smiles and nods. He goes, okay, let's shoot. And I go, Mr. Allen, sir, what am I supposed to do? You just follow his lead. You'll be all right. And I'm freaking out. I have no idea what the story's about. Mortensen said he improvised some lines, and the next day, he told his agent he thought it went pretty good. And of course, the movie comes out the next fall, or whatever, and I told my family, Friday. And I'm not in it. I'm not in the credit, nothing. He trained with real divers from Thai Cave Rescue for 13 lives. 
he will play divers Richard Stanton in Ron Howard's upcoming film 13 Lives, about the incident in which 12 boys and their soccer coach were trapped inside a flooding cave system in Thailand for 18 days in 2018. For the role, Mortensen trained with the divers from the real rescue mission. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, Howard said, the same divers were there with us during our prep and as we were shooting, and Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell in particular, but the other guys as well, trained with them and copied their style. So we had a couple of weeks where they were in the water with them every day, emulating it and for that reason, because they've done that work, they also volunteered work on the weekends and whatever was required so that all of the shots are them, they learned the cave diving techniques and the personalities of the men that they were playing. His unusual audition tactic. He has revealed his unusual audition tactic that led other actors to believe he was a stoner. Speaking to James Corden, early in his career, Mortensen used to intentionally fall asleep in the waiting room for his auditions to help calm his nerves as he awaited his turn. The unintended consequence of this was that other actors thought he was a stoner. They even gave him a pet name, Sleepy Mortensen. Years in the future, Mortensen met one of his contemporaries who was often up for the same roles, and Mortensen said this person, whom he did not name, told Mortensen that he was being dastardly was falling asleep on purpose to make the other actors in the waiting room think he barely cared. He said, that was a really cruel thing you used to do to us. I said, what thing? Oh you did this psychological warfare thing, where you'd pretend to be sleeping before the audition. Mortensen laughed in the interview, because it's so far from the truth, because the irony is that he was not feeling confident, but instead very nervous. Well, it all worked out for Mortensen in the end. He is an avid equestrian. Viggo Mortensen is an equestrian. If you've seen Hidalgo, you know the man is a skilled rider. He ended up purchasing TJ, one of the five horses he rode in Hidalgo. He continued that trend following The Lord of the Rings and brought home two horses from that production. He's an artist, poet, and musician. As well as acting, Mortensen is passionate about music, poetry, photography, and art. In the film A Perfect Murder he played an artist and painted all of the character's murals himself. He has written poetry all his life. His first book was published in 1993, many years before becoming famous for The Lord of the Rings. He has also collaborated with musicians to create jazz interpretations of his poetry. In Return of the King, he composed and sang Aragorn's coronation song. 